in our previous lesson we have discussed about the climate of equatorial region i mentioned that the climate of equatorial region is hot and humid in today's lesson we shall discuss how this hot and humid climate of the equatorial region influences the vegetation found in this biome now if you look at these pictures of equatorial rainforest you will find that they are always dark green in color this is because the trees found in these rainforests never shed their leaves all at once this means that the trees are never bare headed and therefore due to this reason the trees always appear to be green in color so as mentioned just now the trees found in equatorial region always appear to be green as a result these rainforests are also known as evergreen rainforest where evergreen means always green now as i have mentioned just now these trees always appear green because they never shed their leaves all at once so due to this reason the forest found in equatorial region is known as evergreen rainforest now these evergreen rainforests are also known as selvas so selvas is the another name for vegetation found in equatorial region we shall now discuss about various characteristics of these rainforest we know the equatorial rainforest is very dense this means that the trees found in these rainforests grow very close to one another as a result sunlight cannot penetrate deep into the forest and in most of the cases the sunlight does not reach the forest floor at all in addition to the high density of these rainforests some trees also form huge canopy now canopy refers to the spread out branches of some trees in order to absorb maximum sunlight now this canopy further restricts the entry of sunlight into the forest floor as a result the forest floor of these rainforests mostly remains damp and moist now since the availability of sunlight is very restricted in these regions so the trees struggle for sunlight now in this quest most of the trees grow up to a height of 40 meter to 50 meters however not all trees can grow up to such tall heights as a result one can also find ferns and shrubs growing on the forest floor of equatorial regions so in an equatorial region one can find trees of varying heights some trees are very tall and they grow up to a height of 40 to 50 meters while there are other trees that form huge canopy also there are other trees that grow very close to the ground and they are mostly ferns and shrubs thus a equatorial rainforest comprises of trees that have varying heights so on the basis of the differences in the heights of trees one can classify the vegetation found in equatorial region into four distinct layers now as mentioned previously there are some trees in the equatorial region that have very tall heights these trees usually grow up to a height of 40 to 50 meters and these very tall trees comprises of the emergent layer in other words we can also say that emergent layer consists of very tall trees emergent layer is followed by canopy layer now if you remember i mentioned that there are some trees that form huge canopies in order to absorb maximum sunlight 
Now it has been observed that these trees that form huge canopies grow up to a height of 25 to 30 meters. Now these trees that form huge canopies are part of canopy layer. Just below the canopy layer there are some trees that manages to grow up to a height of 15 to 20 meters. These trees are part of understory layer. So understory layer consists of short trees that usually have a height of 15 to 20 meters. Now as mentioned previously the forest floor is covered with ferns and shrubs. These ferns and shrubs can tolerate shade and therefore they manage to grow on damp moist forest floor. Now these ferns and shrubs are very short and they grow up to height of only 5 to 10 meters. These ferns and shrubs comprises of the last layer of the vegetation that is the forest floor. So here we understand that the vegetation found in equatorial region can be classified into four distinct layers. The top one is the emergent layer which generally comprises of very tall trees. The next one is the canopy layer which comprises of trees that forms huge canopy. The third one is the understory layer which usually comprises of short trees that is these trees do not grow up to a very tall height. At the bottom we have the forest floor layer that comprises of ferns and shrubs. So an important characteristic of the equatorial rainforest is that the vegetation can be classified into four distinct layers and this usually happens because the trees grow in multiple heights. Now we shall see how these trees have adapted themselves to the hot and humid climate of the equatorial region. So we shall now discuss about the adaptive features of the trees found in the equatorial region. Now if you remember I mentioned that the sunlight hardly reached the forest floor. As a result the trees that are found very close to the ground usually have broad leaves. Now these trees have broad leaves in order to absorb maximum sunlight that manages to reach the forest floor. So in order to absorb as much sunlight as possible, maximum sunlight that reaches the forest floor, the trees usually have broad leaves. Another significant feature of the trees found in equatorial region is that they have roots that grow above the ground. Now as we can see here the roots of the trees grow above the ground and they spread out that is the roots have a plate like outgrowth. Now these roots that grow above the ground and have plate like outgrowth are known as buttress roots. So another adaptive feature of the trees found in equatorial region is that they have buttress roots. Now we know that the trees found in equatorial region are usually very tall. So the buttress roots provide proper support to tall trees and allow them to stand firmly on the ground. Now these roots not only provide support to the trees but they also help them to absorb maximum nutrients. This is because these roots are not deep rooted. Now these buttress roots not only provide support to the trees but they also allow them to absorb nutrients. So these are the two important adaptive features of the trees found in equatorial region. The first adaptive feature is that the trees usually have broad leaves in order to absorb maximum sunlight. Secondly, the trees also have buttress roots. These roots are spread out and they enable the tall trees to stand firmly on the ground. Now, can you name the largest flower in the world? Well, Rafflesia is the 
largest flower in the world and this rafflesia is found in the equatorial rainforest now look at this picture in this picture we can find a girl sitting beside the rafflesia flower so from this picture we can very well understand that how large this flower is well the average diameter of this red blossom is of 1 meter and also this flower weighs around 11 kgs so the approximate weight of this flower is of 11 kgs and the average diameter of this flower is 1 meter now if you look at these pictures carefully you will find that these flower have no leaves this means that this flower cannot prepare its own food that is it cannot photosynthesize because it lacks leaves then how does this flower survive well let me tell you that this flower is actually a parasite that is this flower steals or absorbs nutrients from the roots of neighboring plants so if you ever go to visit equatorial rainforest then you can definitely find the largest flower in the world that is rafflesia now before we proceed with our lesson let me ask you a question name the largest flower in the world is it dahlia rafflesia orchid or hibiscus what do you think well the correct answer is rafflesia rafflesia as i just mentioned is the largest flower in the world and it is found in the equatorial region now if you walk around the equatorial rainforest you can also find these woody climbing trees these woody climbing trees are also known as lianas now lianas have weak or soft branches so they cannot stand independently on their own as a result they hang on to the branches of other trees so lianas are type of woody climbing plants that are found in equatorial rainforest apart from lianas one can also find mangrove trees now these mangrove trees usually grow in the swampy and marshy areas of the forest and these mangrove trees have prop roots that enable these trees to breathe in the swampy marshy areas of the equatorial rainforest so lianas and mangrove trees are different variety of vegetations found in equatorial region now many valuable trees are also found in equatorial rainforest some of these valuable trees are rubber cinchona mahogany roadwood ebony etc as mentioned just now rubber is an important tree that is found in the equatorial rainforest the sap or latex obtained from rubber tree is used to make rubber fiber the rubber fiber is further used for manufacturing tires waterproofs cloths shoes etc so here we find that an important valuable material that is rubber is obtained from rubber tree which is found in the equatorial rainforest now cinchona is another valuable plant that grow in the equatorial rainforest cinchona is actually a medicinal plant the bark of this tree is used to produce medicine that can cure digestive disorders and can also increase the appetite thus here we find that valuable trees like rubber and cinchona grow in the equatorial rainforest now although such valuable trees are found here in abundance but it is not possible to extract these trees do you know why well there are multiple reasons why we cannot exploit the equatorial rainforest very easily the foremost and important reason behind this is that different species of plants are found in mixed stand 
Now the phrase mixed stand implies that different varieties or different species of trees grow together. So it is impossible to identify a particular species or a particular variety of trees in this rainforest and hence it is very difficult to exploit these rainforest. Now earlier we discussed that the trees found in equatorial region usually have buttress roots that is the roots that grow above the ground and they are spread out now since the trees have buttress roots so they are difficult to fell down that is since these buttress roots are very strong and they are spread out so it is very difficult to fell down or cut down these trees and since felling or cutting down these trees is difficult so again it is difficult to exploit these rainforest another reason why the equatorial rainforest is difficult to be exploited is that the high density of these rainforest in other words the equatorial rainforest is very dense as a result, transportation of wood or timber is very difficult. Now, since it is very difficult to transport wood or timber in these rainforests, so they are hardly exploited. So, here we find that the equatorial rainforests are not commercially important. This is because it is very difficult to exploit these rainforests. Now, as discussed previously, the exploitation of these rainforests is difficult because the trees grow in mixed stand. The trees have buttress roots. And last but not the least is that the forest is very dense. So, because of these reasons, exploitation of equatorial rainforest is very difficult. Thus, due to this reason, equatorial rainforest is commercially unimportant, although many valuable trees grow here. So, in today's video, we discussed in details about the vegetation found in equatorial rainforest. The vegetation is usually termed as evergreen rainforest or selvas. Then later on, we discussed about various characteristics and adaptive features of the trees found in equatorial rainforest. We understood that the vegetation can be classified into four distinct layers, emergent, canopy, understory and forest floor. And then we discussed about various adaptive features of equatorial rainforest. We also learned about few trees that grow in these rainforests. Finally, we discussed that although a great variety of trees grow here, but the equatorial rainforest is commercially unimportant as it is very difficult to exploit these rainforests. In our next video, we will discuss about the adaptations of human beings living in the equatorial region. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now